I said I'd meet Varl and Sona near Red Echoes. Mother's crown. Feels more like a military camp. I bet so many wounded. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the Embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one, but not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine, you're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. Here she is. They made her a seeker. Come here, girl. Let's have a look at you. Next time, I'll remember the girl with the mark of a seeker. The Sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight. 
and pray to the goddess. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west, and beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. Mother's Crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Morea. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. It's spreading. The corrupted machines. They're everywhere. Next time, I'll remember what the Matrix decreed. They've closed the border. Well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. See anything you like? Sure you do. I'm heading for the border. You're a traitor? What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too.
Those machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. The flames! They're burning it! your business. This poison seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday.
Forget about traveling light. Second village that Maria spoke of. It's in shadows. Here they come, corrupted watchers. will let me pass over the mountains. I'd have to leave something else behind. It'll be daybreak soon.
They're scanning for me.
I'll find a use for you.
sky had all the omens. Stocking up. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja Fort? <laughs> Can't be too prepared. Girl! Come closer! So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! Where are you headed, girl? To West! To Meridian! Open the gates. 
The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. We have won, as it should be. All there is. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there. Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. The Weasaram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. This damn Osteram. Stirring up tensions. Keeping my eyes open. Fine goods for a fair price. Would you like to buy something today? Don't forget to stock up nice before you're on the road. Break. Works. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Every time. Captain Ballon, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? 
Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell me what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. We all have our place in the order of things. I'm not going home. No. Would you like to buy something today? Don't worry. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Take a look at these wares. One of these days, I'm going to look him in the face and tell him I quit. I'm busy, Nora. If you need something, speak to Captain Balan in the parapet by the market building. Better wares. 